I think what's really exciting about online is you can have a very distinct voice, you can be alternative, you can cut through to your core audience and you can make a living out of it. Auntie Donna, so most people across the board think of us as three people, as a trio, but uh, we're actually six people, we're a small self-contained production company. Uh, we do sketch, we do song, we do dance and most of all we make you laugh. The six big strong boys, uh, Bron and Kelly, Mark Samuel Bonanno and Zachary Wayne, and then there's Sam Lingham who writes with us and directs our live shows. You've got Tom Armstrong who does all our music and uh, Max Miller who directs and edits all of our film content. Glenridge Secondary College, the web series, is an adaptation of our live show that we wrote last year. So we did that. We just like, let's write a show about our experience with school. So that's where we're at at the moment is this series with some stuff adapted, some stuff's new, which has been really fun. It's nice to see uh, all the material coming from different places. It makes it exciting for me. With such a big series, we've had the chance to incorporate so many high profile great comedians who we looked up to. We've got Sean McAuliffe, Tony Martin, Michelle Brazier, and Michelle Witcher, both in this, Greg Larson, Kate McLennan, Ben Russell, who's one of the great comedians. So many people, it's very exciting and also nerve wracking to have that many talented people in the, in the series. The other thing as well is three sketches are animated. So uh, we're excited to see how they come out. It's a new venture for us, really scary, but also really exciting. We have a really awesome crew on this shoot and almost everybody on this crew has worked on our Donna stuff before and it's kind of one of our favorite things to do is is to have like a very consistent group of people that we always work with from sound to costume to art department to camera having that established kind of relationships and everything just creates such a good energy on set and everyone knows the comedy everyone knows the humor and what the jokes are and stuff because they've been here and they've seen it and they know it and they've done it we've built over six seven years of filming a really clear process and method that we like where we start with a really tight on script version then get a bit looser, and then we do a 40 minute take of everything, it feels like sometimes. But it gets really loose and really fun. And that sort of helps us because each of us are very different performers and we want to be able to nurture that different way of getting to where we think is the funniest. So then we take all of those takes, put them together and try and make this weird amalgam of three different forces working together. The way we sort of write musical comedy can be as diverse as, you know, how we write all our other sketch and sometimes it's about you know, sitting down and improvising to a beat or sometimes it's about writing huge amounts of lyrics and cutting them down or sometimes it's more organic than that and it's about sitting down and workshopping something one-on-one -on -one or one-on-five. I think the biggest challenge of creating comedy, online especially, is making every sketch stand alone. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, sketches were a part of a half-hour episode when they were filmed. They were able to exist with other things. You didn't need to hook an audience in at the start. You didn't need to hold an audience in. You could have a dud sketch. Whereas now every sketch has to be its own thing, has to have its own quality, has to hook people in at the start, keep them in for four or five minutes. So that's a particular writing challenge. And I think sometimes the key is just making sure that each sketch comes back to its core joke. And that's really an important thing in the edit and in the production, that you're not overloading it with all the things at once. You know, let every sketch be its own thing and then overall that creates a tone and a style. Being in the online space allows us to really do whatever the hell we want and see how it goes. We can put up whatever we want and if it doesn't go well, it doesn't matter because what's more important is that we learn from it. It's a balance between giving our audience what they want, trying to appeal to as many people as possible, even though what we do is niche. But then we also want to be doing exactly what we want with zero compromise. So Haven't You Done Well Productions is our new production company that we've started. So this is the first project for it, which we're really excited about is uh, Glenridge Secondary College. And we don't only want to be making our stuff, but anyone who is young and up and coming and thinks that we can help with their project, we want Haven't You Done Well to be a place where, where young artists can come and we can sort of mentor and, and help them get their projects up off the ground and sort of give back in that way. I would say that we wouldn't be where we are. We wouldn't be able to tour the world. We wouldn't have the profile that we have. 100% we would not have it without Screen Australia. And I say that completely sincerely. Before 1999, we had a quarter of the fan base we have now. 
and they were so huge in allowing us to do that. We were all working part-time jobs. We had no time to write. Every sketch we wrote was within an hour when we could grab a minute between our barista call centre jobs. We're taking steps into America at the moment and trying to build there in really big ways, both on TV and on stage. And if we do get to get to that position, it will be in no small part due to Screen Australia. I've not been more excited for people to watch this series. Honestly, I think it's the show I'm most proud of making for our YouTube channel, and I've never been more nervous to see how people receive it. But I'm so excited.